Okay, we're just about to cross the start finish line and start our lap here. We're in the middle of the front straight. Um, and if you look at the map at the top left there, we go around a long sweeping right hander pretty soon here. That's actually all just considered part of the straight, at least in this car, because we're flat out the whole way. Okay, we're coming up to corner three, which is an interesting corner because you're coming off of the longest straight and you're entering onto the second longest straight once you get through. So it's the fastest corner on the track and it's really one of the most critical to get a good lap time. Now this lap, I take this corner all right, but I actually do lose a few tenths and that's because I'm over slowing on the way into the corner. I'm trying too hard to get all the way over to the left side of the track coming out of this long right hand sweeper. And by the time I'm able to get over there, I'm too deep into the corner. So I have to turn more sharply to initiate corner three. Um, instead, I can let it drift out and not worry about getting all the way to the edge and make sure that I'm turning in earlier for this corner. By the way, you can watch the time delta in the top right and see where I'm gaining or losing time versus my previous best. Okay, so here we have a double apex corner that leads into an S-curve. You do want to carry as much speed as possible into here to take full advantage of the long back straight that you just came off of, but I have made a bit of a mistake. I've started to turn in a little bit too early here. I'm coming off of the left side of the track a bit early, and you'll see that that's going to cascade and uh, end up losing me a couple tenths further on here. So here I've had to slow down a little bit more than I normally would at this point to finish the corner. That throws me off a bit, and as you can see, I end up carrying a touch too much speed into the next corner. Otherwise, this section was pretty good. I got nice and tight on the right-hander of the uh, S-curve there, which let me straighten out the left-hander and uh, stay hard on the throttle all the way through. So I'm only a little bit slower than I would otherwise be because of that little correction I had to make at the end of the double apex. That's a fairly quick off-camber corner, so it's not unusual for the car to get a bit loose through there. Fortunately, that time I was able to catch it pretty quickly and not lose any time. Now this next section coming up is my favorite part of the track. You've got a left-right chicane going over a crest, and then a downhill left-hander heading on to the next short straight. On the initial left-hander, it's important to stay over to the left side of the track for quite a ways to straighten out the right-hander over the hill as much as possible. Then you can give it a quick stab of the brakes as you hit the hill and you have maximum traction. As you're going over the crest though, the car gets light and you can do very little as far as inputs, so you want to have everything set up properly at that point. Once you get past there, as soon as the car settles back down, you got a ton of grip again, and I'm flat from just past the crest all the way around this corner. For the 180 coming up, this lap I break just past the stoplight on the right there and take a double apex line through the corner. I've actually found though it's a little bit faster to break slightly earlier right at the stoplight usually or even slightly before and take more of a late apex line and that uh, lets you carry more speed through this corner. But the difference is only a tenth or so. So coming up is turn 15, an uphill off camber 180 and it is deceptively difficult. If you try to turn in too early or get on the throttle while you've still got too much steering angle, it's really easy to get the back end loose. So you need to stay patient, stay to the outside, and then straighten it out toward the late apex, which I managed to do this lap. Now we have the final chicane. I break at the one marker here and string the first two right-handers into a single late apex arc. For the left-hander after that, you need to stay to the left as you exit because you want to open up the final right-hander onto the front straight. That lets you get on the power as early as possible, which is really important because you carry that speed through the entire straight.
And that's it. I hope it was interesting. Um, if not, I'll play the whole lap now so you can watch it without all the talking. Also, if you're looking to buy a track car, or any car really, check out autotempest.com. It searches all the major cars for sale sites in one place, so you don't have to. I'll put the link in the description along with the mod list. Alright, on to the lap.